Domo arigato! Today on Toy Habits Reviews, we have the Masterverse Heroic Mechanical Warrior and his Motu Classics counterpart on the examination table. Toy and before we get into the review, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel so you can be alerted to the latest reviews, news, and episodes when they drop. Hey everyone, welcome back to Toy Habits and we are coming at you from our examination room. I'm Michael and with me is my collector in crime Larry and today we are taking a detailed look at the Masters of the Universe Masterverse Roboto from the Revelation series and comparing him to his Motu Classics figure. And Roboto comes packed in the Motu Revelation subline packaging with his two swords of power front and center and of course the art is the eye candy on these boxes. Yeah, that's that's really the, the only eye candy we get, right? I mean, it's got the, the big window in the front, but uh, it's fairly plain packaging. But I do yeah. think the, art, the art's cool. Um, but I, I, the, the front's just, it's always just kind of boring. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I agree. Like I, I have these conversations with, uh, you know, remember Wes from the Netherlands? He, he just opens these boxes and displays the Origins ones because the Origins ones are more interesting to display. And yeah, he, he agrees these are definitely a, a boring front, but really the art, you know, make, makes up for it a bit. <laughs> yeah, it does. I think uh, it's kind of like if we could get a, a good blend of, of both, I think it'd be cool. But I, but I do really like the art that they do for these. I think... Uh, it's cool seeing, and I and I like that they don't do. Um, it's not like they just do like an art panel for the back and yeah. then just cut that apart and do the sides with the same pieces of art. It's it's you know, it's uh, unique pieces, and and a lot of times it's a little bit different look for each of them. So I think that's cool. Yeah, it's very cool. All right, so let's crack Roboto open and take a closer look at the figure. All right, now that we have Roboto out of the box, let's start from the top and work our way down. And Roboto's head sculpt has a much angular design than we've seen in previous years. Yeah, it's funny. I, to me, it's it's like, it's almost like this this head sculpt, it's more nondescript than before, but somehow it it looks cooler. I don't, I don't know what, I don't even know how to describe it. It's like, it feels more plain, but more unique also because it has it has like more of like a almost like a skull shape to it uh -huh. um and i really like i like that uh just i like the overall design and the, and the simplicity of it i guess yeah it, it, sometimes less is more yeah and his is also his, his little mouth uh his little mouth guard you know moves up and down and i like the blue underneath is you know kind of is un under that visor yeah i do too and i think that uh this to me, this is the the like um, the other head sculpts we've seen for Roboto. For me, at least, it was always tough to decide whether that kind of that line, you know, is this is this eyes, is this the mouth? What the yeah, hell are we looking at true. here? You know, and and so I think this feels more like distinct, like facial features. You know, if you can if you can say that for a, uh, you know, for robotic uh, character, but yeah, you know, he he thinks he's human in the comics, so hey, why not? Uh, yeah, got a heart. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I, I, I mean, I think he, I think he's super cool. I really like the uh, the overall head sculpt uh, a lot. So yeah, I, I do too. And you know, this uh, moving down to the chest, uh, you know, again, kind of a, a, di a very different take on Robotos that we've seen in the past, where it this whole chest and whole air, back area was all clear, but now they've kind of closed it off, and you just kind of have more of a crop top look to them. Yeah, and, and and to me, this is kind of the best of both worlds, really, because you still get that that kind of cool effect to be able to see in and see the gears and the working parts and things. Um, and I think it's cool they've got some different, you know, pops of color in there uh, just to kind of break up the the silver and and just the the blue and the red, really. Yeah. Um, but and I but I like that there's that there's more like kind of more metal to it, and I f I feel like this is a better. Uh, kind of torso for Roboto because I always felt like like the Origins figure his torso just feels too short to me yeah and uh, and I think this this looks more um, more proportional to to the figure so yeah I think I think the I think what the Masterverse line has done really well is just kind of fixing all those proportion issues that we've you know that were kind of making us. Uh, mad over the years but yeah the the collider looks really cool you know and un unfortunately there are no internal moving parts so his fan doesn't move but I actually really like that you can kind of see all of the layers inside of it and I, I do love the colors and you know if you move to the back 
there is a splash of green back there and you can kind of see like where his arms connect which is neat <laughs> yeah yeah no i think i think it's cool i think they did a good job with that um i think there's there's still enough uh you know open open chest there to be able to see things and uh, and still make him feel like roboto oh totally yeah and then his arms are you know they're i think they're a lot plainer on top than we've seen in previous years and then they kind of make up for it with the uh, splashes of yellow and also the uh, kind of shininess of his bracer and his gloves here. Yeah. And I, I like what they did with the arms. I think that, um, I, th I think they look cool. Um, and I think that for, for like this figure, um, you know, like a lot, a lot of the, uh, the human figures, you know, you, those elbow and knee joints are really, really awkward looking depending on how you position them yeah. and the angle you're looking at them from. Um, but I think with this, it doesn't seem to have that problem. Um, you know, just kind of as you've been turning him around, his elbows look natural basically all throughout. You know, you don't have that weird, and maybe it's just because of the blue kind of hides some of that. Yeah. Um, but I, but I think it's 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 cool that that's uh, kind of more hidden. Um, and I'm I'm good with the with the the red and the gold. I guess mm -hmm. it does feel like Iron Man parts to me. Though, yeah. And that's that's a little weird. Um, I, it's a it's a strange thing because it's like. The rest of them doesn't make me think Iron Man necessarily, right. but those the the gloves or gauntlets there really do. Yeah, I guess if this was the only thing that you saw, you could maybe you couldn't be able to tell if this was Iron Man or Roboto. But, um, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I like I like the way that they've tied the gold in the in the gloves in with the uh, collider parts. So yeah, I think I think that's a I think that color is a welcome addition on the figure. Mm -hmm. Are the hands? a different a different color of red i guess it's because it's not the shiny plastic or is it just a trick of the kind of the lighting they they do look a little uh like the gloves look a little more cherry red so yeah, yeah orange, you, you, kind of an orangish red mm -hmm. isn't it on the on the like on that gauntlet piece yeah you kind of have to stare at it for a while but yeah i think uh yeah they definitely uh you know they might have put uh the leg color on the on the gloves and I think, you know, for the bracers, they might have just mixed up a different paint just to make it a little bit more shiny. Well, and I, and I wonder almost if it's because of the type of plastic that it is, because, mm. you know, it feels like um, maybe with the plastic of like his hands, uh, you know, it's I don't know if I don't know if it's a different plastic necessarily but because it's uh, just maybe the texturing or something. But it, it's a little bit noticeable. I don't know if it would, I don't know if it would bother me in person or not, but I, it is noticeable. Yeah. I, yeah, I, I don't think so. You know, it's, it's, it's very, yeah, it's kind of hard to, it's kind of hard to pick out. Um, and then, uh, yeah, his, his legs are a similar color, not, I don't think an exact match to his bracers and his legs, but again, it's, it's very hard to tell. And, you know, you have the silver bits, uh, that are on the thighs and he's got these really, really oversized knee armor, which I think is cool. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's it's cool. I mean, it's a different take. I like that the that the pads are there on the on the thighs. I think that's a good a good throwback to kind of those those uh you know original Roboto or trap jaw style legs. Yeah. Um, I think that's that's cool that those are in there, and and then I think it's cool that we're getting those kind of unique neat knee guards. I guess. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, once again, we're talking about boots and shoes and stuff with these guys. <laughs> yeah. And, <laughs> but uh i mean i think i think they look cool it is it's, it always it seems funny again because he's a robot so he's and then he's got like loafers <laughs> yeah like loafers <laughs> and then huge like helmet style caps for his knees yeah <laughs> but they look cool yeah yeah definitely yeah it's, it's it's funny like the the whole roboto figure itself uh he he you know yes he is a robot but he looks less robotic than previous versions because they did remove his uh you know circuitry that you would find everywhere and there's really no remnant of him being a robot from the waist down either you know there is some like extra armor on the back of his you know protecting his achilles tendon but you know i guess if you're a robot you wouldn't need that <laughs> now it makes makes him just feel better it makes him feel more human i guess yeah um, exactly yeah, it's, it's a lot a lot smoother uh smoother kind of sculpt to him yeah exactly all right well let's take a closer look at his weapons and accessories and he's got a cool masterverse pack out all right, and Roboto comes with a cool pack out, and he does come with a pair of translucent power swords, which are kind of cast in a kind of a fiery orangey color. And these are the same as 
same power swords that were used in the pack out for King Grayskull. Yeah, I, I like them. I think I think they look cool. Um, I, I think it's cool that they look like they're on fire. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that, you know, kind of recreate the scene of uh, forging and, and uh, I, I think they look cool. I like I've always liked the, the sword sculpt like this. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I think it's great. I think it, they had a good uh, design choice to kind of cast these in this type of plastic. So, yeah, you could definitely recreate that scene uh, from the Revelation series when Roboto meets his demise. But we won't talk about that. <laughs> well, you don't have to recreate the whole thing. I mean, you could stop kind of midway. You oh, know, that's the, true. The unfortunate incident. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then he comes with two arm cannon attachments. So let's take a look at the wider one. And, you know, it, it's a really simple design. It's a it's kind of more of a wider open mouth cannon. And it looks like it has some grooves cut in it, too, just to kind of give it a little bit more uh, detail inside. Yeah, yeah, I think it's cool. Um, you know, I, I, th I like these, but I, I do feel like um, they're a little bit kind of plain and i think it, it goes along with his sculpt which makes sense um and i don't i don't know what i what i would have liked to see them do with it as far as to add some detail but i think they i think they look good mm -hmm. um but they do they do feel a little bit plain maybe yeah yeah so yeah th this one especially because it's just one you know big yep. open mouth uh, blaster piece or cannon piece uh, his his next attachment is is a little bit more interesting it's more of like a, a double barrel cannon um, so it's got some silver here. It's got two barrels, maybe reminiscent of his, uh, you know, attachment that came with his vintage figure and the classics figure. Yeah, I think this one's cool. I think, um, and, and really, I think if they, maybe if they would have included like a, an ax, like the, what, like what the previous figures had, I think maybe that would have given enough variety to it where, um, it doesn't stand out so much that these are kind of more plain and, and kind of similar, I guess. Yeah. But I do, I do like this one a lot. I think it looks pretty cool. Yeah. It's, a, it's a cool kind of different take on on the blaster that he usually has. So Yeah. All right. Well, let's uh let's get Roboto geared up before we bring in his classics figure. All right. And here is what Roboto looks like when he is clutching those two swords of power. And you can really imagine him forging those together like he did in the Revelation series. And looks looks kind of cool this way. I might display him this way. <laughs> Yeah, I, th I think it looks cool too. I think the the kind of that orange color looks really really cool um, with the kind of the blue and the red and the silver, um, co you know, color scheme. So I, th I think it looks looks really cool with him. Yeah, it definitely does. And just a FYI, the arm attachments are really difficult to get on. So I will struggle with this off camera to put on his arm attachments, and so we will see what his arm cannons look like. All right, so definitely a struggle to get the stock arm, you know, our arm piece off of the arm. So it's definitely a struggle. And just FYI, if you have this figure, you're going to be getting it. Just be careful not to mess up the other uh, parts. So yeah, it's definitely a large plug that's on the other end. And I'm assuming it's just, you know, it's easy to, I haven't actually popped these on yet, but <laughs> ah, ah, we got it. All right. Okay. <laughs> it's, a lot easier to get this part on than it was getting the first part off. Oh, see now, now I'm really impressed and I don't know, I don't know why it's so much different, but that, but that looks awesome. It you does. Know, like I'm that, that, uh, that might've sold me on it right there. I mean, I already, I already liked them a lot and, uh, but, but I think that really adds something. It adds kind of some, I don't know, just a little bit of, of difference in the sculpt. It kind of dresses him up a little bit. So. Yeah, and I actually like, you know, even though it was a struggle to take this off, I do like that it separated from kind of the upper forearm because I forget there was one figure that we were looking at where uh, we put an attachment on the end and it just didn't look right. <laughs> yeah, I remember that too, where you you almost get like, like the arm ends up being too long, almost like they're holding the accessory instead of it's becoming like attaching to them. It was Hordak. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was Hordak. Yep. Yeah. So I wish they did that with uh, with Hordak. But I, I think this this gives the right proportion to the arm, which is cool. Yeah, it's it's cool because it actually looks a little shorter than than if he had a hand on there. But I don't think it is. But it looks it has almost like a stumpier look to it. But yeah. I think it's really cool. Yes. And for people that are watching you, uh, you can't take the other piece off so just don't spend your time struggling with that <laughs> so it's just a molded on piece <laughs> well you you i mean you technically you could take it off you're just gonna need a, a knife and a lot of very careful uh 
per, you know, precision cuts and, yeah. and, you know, kind of sculpting to get the, get the stuff right. But <laughs> yeah, it's, it's definitely possible. I'm just not, it's, I don't... It's, yeah, I just don't want to throw it out there. It's not, it's not impossible. It's, no. not, it's not meant to happen. You're right. Exactly. Um, all right. So this arm cannon was much easier to take off than the first one. And so you just pop off the next one. And yeah, this one is, yeah, it's a lot, it's a lot simpler than uh, the other one. And so, you know, it's, uh, not, not sure how how much I will put this one on, but it still looks cool. Yeah, yeah, that one's cool. I I uh, I don't know that one. That one's like the uh, the shop backhand. Yeah, <laughs> it's like a clean up the mess. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, and let's take a look at Roboto next to his uh, Motu Classics figure, and I'll just. Uh, bring him in here and it's just interesting to see kind of the design changes that they've uh, done over the years you know obviously this particular Roboto is a lot taller than the classics version so we can kind of get a good look at um, you know the similarities and differences you know the classics version has the clear chest and you know Roboto has the crop top chest but it's kind of interesting if you look at the colors inside the classics one they kind of mirror the colors inside uh, Roboto in the Masterverse figure. Yeah and I, th I think they're doing a, a really great job with that of trying to keep um, some consistency and, and throwing a lot of different little nods to the previous figures even though uh, you know, the kind of the character designs have changed. Uh, you know, they're still trying to trying to do little things like that. Like it's the same color scheme, even though the pieces have changed and uh -huh. then look has changed. So I, I think that's that's cool that they're um, kind of staying true to the to the brand and and uh, kind of keeping all those those elements intact. Yeah, I, I think so, too. And I think your comments about the head sculpt were kind of were right on in the beginning, because if you look uh, side by side and, you know, look at their profiles, the one in classics, it looks like the head sculpt just kind of goes off a cliff and is very yeah. flat in the back. And, you know, it gives the Masterverse one has a much more natural uh, uh, shape to it. Yeah. Yeah. And, and and even even the way it kind of sits on that the neck piece for classics, it just it looks very odd. It's it's almost like the neck ends up looking too tall. Yeah. And the, the help the head piece itself is almost too uh, to squat, you know, it's, it needs to be like fuller or something. And I, I think that's what I like about the, the new one is that it's, it looks like more like a skull, mm -hmm. kind of like a robotic skull yeah. um, kind of shape to it. And I, and I really like that. It's, I mean, it's, and it's got really clean lines and I think that looks cool. Yeah. It's, it's also a, the, the buck on the Masterverse figures is just a lot thicker too. So you get, it looks like you get a lot, a lot more beefier Roboto. <laughs> yeah. And, and, but it's funny because it, it looks, I mean, it's, it's bigger but it almost looks more it looks more like slender mm -hmm. but bigger at the same time it's it's weird yeah <laughs> it's one of those uh, optical illusions right <laughs> yeah yeah and it's i really wish we had an axe you know i think, yeah. I think it'd be cool to uh, to get that if you had that kind of that uh you could almost like a, do a kind of a fiery effect on an axe blade with that that red and gold Ooh. and i think that would have ended up looking pretty cool but uh yeah, I think I think that they've done a good job overall on this for sure, and I I like the uh, the way they've 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 really worked a lot of different things in here. I mean, even even kind of like the uh, the crotch piece, mm -hmm. you know, has that same kind of feel. It's a different shape, of course. It's just it's just, uh, mm -hmm. but they've kept the same kind of design look to it. So yeah, same yeah, similar design, similar color scheme, and yeah, I think the yeah, it's, there's definitely a lot of colors in here that pay homage to that. Uh, classics design and um, yeah I think from the waist down you know kind of looks pretty similar uh, to to the classics one just uh, the knee armor is just gargantuan on the Masterverse figure <laughs> it is but you know I had forgotten the the way the classics um, knee armor even looked I, I didn't even remember those being like that and so really this isn't that far of a stretch um, design wise from what that was you know yeah. it's just it's just a little bit different take on it yeah yeah, definitely a, a fantastic update. And, you know, I think a great figure design just kind of ripped right from the Revelation series. Yeah, this is this is one that, uh, you know, I, I, I like um, I like a lot. I, I think they've done a really good job. I think he he came out really great. And uh, I'm, I'm not collecting the whole line, um, but I, I will end up adding this to the shelf.
Yeah, you, you definitely should. Yeah, I think this is one of the probably one of the go to figures in the line. And it's it's great to see him. You know, I think he's coming a little late in the line for, you know, for my taste, but at least we have him. So, yeah, yeah, definitely. All right. Well, that wraps up our review of the Masterverse Revato from the Revelation subline. So let us know what you think in the comments below. I'm Michael. And I'm Larry. And thanks for dropping into the Toy Habits Examination Room. Thank you.